Victor, I'm here with a new series, starting a new series as well, inspired by the feedback I received in the 2500 um, subscribers giveaway uh, questions or, or suggestions, I have to say. So here I have one that I will call a blast from the past, where I will show some material that I have uh, that is quite old. And I want to I want to start the video with the Great Demons of Chaos. So I will show you uh, the four Great Demons of Chaos from second edition times. Uh, you see that they go on a square basis, because at that moment in time, the only Rome bases existing were the 25 millimeters or 28 millimeters base um, Rome bases. So they were not other sizes. This was uh, the 25 the standard ones that are substituted now more and more by the 32, but the 25, 28 were the uh, standard bases, the only ones from bases. All big miniatures was were in square bases, even in 40k, uh, big miniatures were using uh, square bases. So I put as well the last changeling uh, version, so you can have a size comparison uh, of the great demons. These are the all great demons, all is metal, Okay, and forgive me for the paint job, these are, uh, I paint these guys uh, about 22 years ago, something like that. So they are more than 20 old years old. So they, uh, yeah, they have more than 20 years. So uh, I think I paint them when I was around 19, so this means that they have 23 years, this paint job. Okay, so forgive me for the paint job. So you see here, uh, this uh, this is of course a metal miniature. So normally it was it was made of three, uh, four parts I think. Or it was the body, the head, this arm, the wipe, and the wings. These were the parts of this guy. I think the body was one part. So you can see uh, uh, the different part, the different paint job. I just want to is really tilt to the front to be threatening, but you can see that he's really a small compared to the last version of the Bloodthirster. So this is the great demon of corn. The Bloodthirster is not looking very, imp uh, it's not imposing too much. It cannot be used even for a demon prince, or you can use it today for a small demon prince. Looks like more a mutated uh, guy will be more no, like that, okay? This was inspired from the gargoyle, uh, I think from Warhammer, the first version of Warhammer Quest that I don't have. Okay, so here you have. Okay, so this is the Great Demon of Corn. Let's go now to the Great Demon of Sench. And there were a couple of versions, so there were some uh, different versions. So they had some head swap uh, on the Demon of Sench, as well on all the demons had. Not just one version in metal, they used to have more than one version. So this have a very long tail, it's quite, you have to be careful, uh, as well the head. So not too many parts as compared to today. It's also metal, you can see why well, the paint job is um, it's not very good, neither. But you can see here uh, the great demon of change, quite static, so you see the wings are really, uh, they have a very nice uh, feather texture, to be fair. The texture is not bad. Uh, also here, uh, you, it has a lot of uh, different, but it's really small, so that, and, and, and a little bit goofy. So it looks, you see the head is really big compared to the rest of the body. Uh, the hands are extremely big as well. So you can see, uh, if you compare to the changeling here, uh, how stylized are the hands compared to these hands? So of course, these were metal, and some, and were the yeah, the beginning of range worship. This is Warhammer 40k second edition. Let's go for the Nargal one. This was I remember when I had to assemble this one. It was a pain to assemble. Again, uh, we did not have that many type of choices of paints. We had uh, what we had is the the inks in that time moment of time. They were very glossy. I was not using the inks uh, at this moment. I was just learning, and of course the plot or the open uh, the scars were not that good. Were not painted <coughs> that well. And as I say, this was my beginning on painting job. I think this was the first great demon of them that I painted. Maybe, I, I don't know if I start with the Blood Sister or with this guy. So, uh, 
you can see that the design of the current um, great unclean one is, is more or less the same a scale up and um, um, of course the detail today is much better but you see that there is a and they were quite uh, crazy you know we see as well these mouths on their hands again very big hands uh, a little bit goofy uh, these are the back a lot of postals everywhere uh, and a lot of open uh, scars of course uh, as it is not real. and they were also different versions I don't think all the versions had the mouth on the belly but uh, the one on the mouth on the, on the belly I think is the best one Okay, and I have to say in the game they were devastating at the time so imagine these miniatures were the devastating great demons and here we have yeah, the great demon of Thench uh, we have these boots, okay, these leather boots that are, and one is different than the other. So again, it remind me as well uh, Rock Trader and all the uh, earliest um, artwork, where uh, all the paint jobs, uh, all, where all the artwork was quite goofy uh, sometimes, uh, very surrealistic. So here we see uh, this is the one with four hands. We have one breast here. Uh, it's again uh, like an endogenous thing. It's a mixture of uh, female and male type of demon. So uh, uh, it's quite in, uh, interesting. Uh, a little bit goofy. You see, it's quite short, uh, over dimension on the top. Uh, there is almost no space for these big arms. And here you see there is some other details. I, I, uh, yeah. The color choices were not the right one, so. But yeah, this was one of my earliest paint jobs. So now I'm going to remove this guy from the picture, and you can see all the great demons together. Some of them, uh, this was the original bases, this one here. These ones, I did new bases for them. Uh, or not new bases, I repaint the bases just to make them. Uh, I'm not using them anymore in the games. Uh, okay, I'm not, they are in, they are not, I'm not using them anymore in my games. Uh, I keep them on the shelf. I will not repaint them. I like to keep them as they are. And yeah, let me zoom out a little bit, uh, and you can see all the four demons. Okay, here you have the four demons uh, the, uh, of the of chaos. So these are the great demons from second edition. They were out of print during the second edition. Uh, they were, yeah, I think they are out of print for 20 years, maybe. Uh, maybe, yeah, I bought them and then I think a couple of years after, so they were out of print. So more or less out of print for about 20 years. Okay, so you can, uh, they are from the before 2000 I think they were out of print. So here we have four metal demons, uh, great demons of chaos uh, from left to right uh, Blood Sister, Keeper of Secrets, Great Unkling One and Lord of Stage. So yeah, I keep them as one, uh, as yeah, it's give me a very nice uh, memories from when I started to play Warhammer 40k on the second edition and on the second edition I was able to field in one army in one uh, game of 2000 points there were enough space to fill the four great demons so I did a game where I was playing with four great demons and then the rest of the army so they, they were they were half of my army and the other half were regular troops so here you have, uh, when we complain about balance, uh, if you have played second edition, uh, you can remember that was it all was about Hero Hammer. So, and this was, uh, they were able to do devastating psychic powers, especially the Lord of Thench was able to uh, kill marines in mass and convert them into pink horrors. Uh, the the Norgal were able to do a really uh, nasty uh, 
powers and as usual Slanesh was the less efficient with psychic powers so on second edition we also have a special movement for each uh, was a movement was part of the profile so this is my first video blast from the past the four great uh, demons and I'm planning to do another blast from the past to show you who was Warhammer 2nd edition? Please leave in the comments below if it's something that you are interested to know. Let me know if you like this series, let me know what do you think, and let me know if you're interested to see who was Warhammer 2nd edition. Warhammer 2nd edition was uh, from before 2000, I think. Uh, I started playing Warhammer 2nd edition uh, in... 96, 1996, 1997, I, my memories are not that good at this moment no, 1994, I have to say, I think 1994 I started playing second edition so, uh, here you have so, let me know if you like this series, let me know what do you think and yeah, and as usual, uh, thanks a lot for watching and see you again later, bye